This Ag Vision program is made possible through the generous support of Syngenta Seeds, NK brand. The results you need, the freedom to choose. And by Farms.com, Ag News, Market Prices, Ag Careers, and Farm Real Estate. You'll find it all at Farms.com. Welcome back to Ag Vision. As GPS technology becomes more mainstream, both within agriculture and for the general population, hardware costs have come down to where it makes sense for large and small producers alike to consider this. But GPS tends to be a little bit like a computer purchase. We're dazzled by the toys and the gadgets, but most of us typically utilize a very small fraction of the actual capabilities. Are farmers deriving maximum value from current GPS tools? Brent Van Conant, who you saw in the feature earlier, uh, operates AgriSkills Incorporated at Carmen, Manitoba, and joins me now. Nice to see you again, Brent. Good to be here. Uh, Brent, let's get right to the issue. In your opinion, does the average producer out there use GPS tools effectively and profitably? Well, probably not as much as they can. Uh, I think lot, there's been certainly a lot of curiosity, and uh, we we get caught up in the bells and whistles and uh, any purchase of a new combine. Boy, you got to have it. You got to have it. But I, I sometimes think we get lost uh, that the tools really should be about better management, not just about collecting data or who's got the latest and greatest. Uh, so if we can keep that farm management focus to it, then I think we can think our way through some of our choices a little better. In the feature that we just saw, you mentioned in there that the yield monitor is the core tool in farm management. Why do you say that? Well, it's really about, uh, you know, good, good accountants will tell you if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. And uh, historically, we've had difficulty really measuring how well some of our agronomic choices have really given us returns. And the yield monitor gives us one of those tools to really uh, evaluate on our own field in our own way whether the choice that we made of using a fungicide or not using a fungicide, uh, a, a foliar nutrient with or without. And some of those direct comparisons we can do uh, some measuring to say was that a good management decision and should I do it again next year. Uh, history was, well, you know, the yield was pretty good. Uh, uh, I hope it worked. Um, you know, in this game of, uh, of slim margins on occasions, um, then we really need to make sure we're extracting the most value we can. And we got to measure those things precisely enough to know whether uh, our management's given us what we want to. So give us maybe one key factor that will help us maximize the uh, uh, GPS data collection, especially from Yield Monitor. Well, you really have to start thinking about how you're going to capture data right now, uh, before spring. What is it that I, <clears throat> excuse me? What is it that I want to be able to make a better decision about this time next year? Uh, what do I want to compare so that I can keep sharpening my management? If your big question is about fertility, then uh, how can I lay that out in some kind of a a trial or a comparison within my farm and then me measure that through the season and at the end cap through capturing the data say you know what my my strategy of 120 pounds of nitrogen instead of 110 really did pay off or my strategy of uh, splitting my fungicide instead of doing it in one pass didn't make any difference this year uh, we end up operating on hunches and assumptions instead of really kind of comparing those things. But you've got to think your way through it before you just capture a whole bunch of data and try to make sense of it after the fact. You use the term in that feature, harvesting intelligence. Uh, how does a producer take the leap from gathering data to actually harvesting intelligence? Well, and I, that takes you back to what I was just kind of describing. What is it that you really... What is it you really think might be limiting some of your income potential or uh, maybe giving you a higher risk in your management than you're comfortable with? Uh, and then think through what is it that I could do to compare system A to system B or choice one to choice two that would give me more confidence that the choice I'm making this year uh, really leads me to making a better choice next year. Um, you really. You have to plant ideas and test them. 
Uh, and sometimes they're dead wrong. I've certainly had my own experiences where I'm looking at two varieties and I would have, uh, I would have guessed that one was a dog and wasn't going to make it. Turns out it had a three bushel advantage. Now, if you just ripped across that field uh, uh, in sort of an, the ordinary fashion, you wouldn't have seen that. Uh, but laying that out strategically and then measuring it tells me that everything we see isn't what it appears to be. And, you know, I don't sell a crop that looks good. I sell a crop that weighs up that I can ship to an elevator. And the yield monitor really measures uh, sort of the money end of the business for me. I failed to mention, of course, you run AgriSkills Incorporated, but you also farm. Um, tell me how harvesting intelligence, uh, an example of how that's benefited your farm. Well, I, there's, there's kind of a couple of examples. I, uh, I, years ago, there was some debate about whether we were really getting much uh, yield response to fungicides. and. Uh, it was one of those years where we really didn't think the pressure was that high, and I thought, well, you know, maybe I'll experiment. And I, I went out and uh, uh, sprayed a low rate of fungicide on some fields that most people would have said never would have given me a response. Uh, I watched the field all season. I uh, didn't see that, you know, it didn't look greener. I, I would have guessed that it was a, a useless process. And then when I pulled into the field with the yield monitor and compared the treateds to the untreateds, I had a four bushel advantage. Uh, you know, I'm, I was two and a half times returned on my investment, uh, really against all those odds. And it got me thinking about how many other times am I misjudging whether I'm getting the kind of response that I think I am. And I've had the, uh, you know, I've had the, had the reverse as well, where uh, putting on a little extra fertilizer, I thought, boy, that must be doing something for me. Um, and it really wasn't. It wasn't giving me a response. Uh, um, you got to really test it to know for certain. Put it right there. Brent, thanks for your time today. I've enjoyed it. Brent Van Conant from AgriSkills Incorporated in Manitoba. Thanks to the folks as well at CTV in Winnipeg for their assistance with that discussion.